Hello there, everybody. I had to do this pretty quickly right now because it's only going to be 9 o'clock in 4 minutes. <coughs> already been up like already 40 minutes. As you can tell, I'm a little bit. Halfway awake. But, anyways, here it is. I finished this up pretty quick. I think, because us, this is the. Well, I guess there's no other word for it. Second part of how to make an Divine Crazy Jungle out there. Or the movie. Or should I say, in the trilogy. In this one, he dresses up in the city, which is in the fourth movie. I mean, yeah, that's it, fourth movie. In his jacket suit. And not to mention, and other interesting in, in other characters, which I probably showed you before already. Had to make kind of like those classic 2D hand drawing style. Nowadays we got 3D the animation. I know I already showed you guys these ones before already. But I want to make it kind of like a good, good old classic 2D hand drawn animation kits they used to do back in the day. And shoot, I forgot. This is my 600 video, so. <laughs> And I got this. I wired that look like Hunter. I can make anything out of this wire. And let's see, um. I guess I'll show you part one I already showed you before. This one, that lady from. Off longs and join his feet while he's laughing. <laughs> There's Wrigley the snake ready to eat her, save from that green squad shell. Just a crossover. Turn back to me now. What, hire some great voice actors to play the our hero. Which would be a pretty great idea. I mean, I already did the story plot. I already showed you guys this one. What well, have I not showed you is basically how it ends. Ends. Did tell you the story of it. How he defeats Hunter by using the hammer because that strange falcon bird. I gave him that and defeats him. And then the sequel. Oh, he, he finally meets Red Tyra, but not until the end. And of the sequel, number two, where he ends up in the village. Third one, done. Spoilers. Rosie gets kidnapped. Ends up to him to save her. And ends up in the swamp of facing dangerous creatures. Just there. Poisonous frogs. Human eating plants. Evil Alec Crocodile Man named Roxy. Yes, that's his name.
and most likely the red Tyra herself and saves her. And the reason why I put four fingers up, the fourth one he ends up in the city. And he falls into a dent hole and get rescued by Dan. And ends up in the city. And ends up in the middle of the ocean. Find a big octopus. Named Palm, by the way. Pretty amazing, right? In space, an evil mad scientist named Dr. Crazy Legs there. There, but twice. Fourth and the fifth. And the sixth is that crazy crazy person named Tiffany. That one's him. Him as a son. Crazy, right? Oop, found it. Didn't mean to take too long, but here's... Here's a few of the images I showed you before. Hunter and the Jungle Book Far Sulfur. And that one is just from Rufio Chamberlain. Here's our hero ready to punch back. Had to make, had to give this character her well designed to make him swim or or fight back. Had to work on a few things here and there. Had to get a pretty good classic, you know, like good old dude. It's me, not like Disney, but sort of like that. But classic hand-drawn animation, which will take take time and effort into it. Had to do like a basic plot stories. He's that he's just an orphan boy. He who ends up in Spring Forest, talks to animals. Olsen likes to swing around like Tarzan. And Mowgli. Oh, I know, yeah. I almost forgot. Those other things I showed you? One thing I left out is Inuyasha. Kind of like Inuyasha, because I have Demon Boy, and he becomes a dragon, which is awesome. And which will make the higher trilogy more interesting. And all I can say is, that's pretty much it. And you have these wonderful characters of animals you can talk to. And some of them are good, and some are evil. There's also this fat lady. You know, Greena, that's kind of like Poison Ivy, but the opposite of her does care about our hero to have a child of her own. Here's the Wasp. This guy I just told you about, Roxine, the alligator, he looks pretty scary. The Dull Dog, that's also from the first one. An evil flea, which... I wish Dane DeVito would voice him. And there he is being hypnotized by that see plant lady and other lady crossover from pump named Scooby Doo. That was 
was planning to make sure her in the future would make this it's like an interesting story, a factor of all the characters in it, wonderful backgrounds. Not to mention the sort of locational places, the city I just told you about, called Redville. Even though there's no place called that, but I hate to get kind of the word for it interesting. I had to make sure or the story can be like most likely kid friendly and dark dark stuff as well there will be like lots of blood which I I'll show you right now this much blood gore it'll be pretty screwed up there's red time on that just killed a person that's pretty messed up And most of the time it'll be hilariously funny. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be... Yeah, like... I think if you want to bring your children to the jungle, or rainforest, make sure you want bring an adult to protect them. From the natural environment. As long as there are friendly animals out there, you're all right. I had to make sure I would get some of the designs of animals correctly and make them sort of scary, sort of terrifyingly evil. downright evil. <laughs> Especially Hunter, which I already told you a little bit of his backstory, that he's big, he's mean, he's just evil. Oh, well, and so to the heroes, well, the hero Kirby Okio Kazami to stop him. Um, because he is, he's just he's such a bad guy. But in the past, he he's actually a pretty good guy. And he has his idiotic henchmen and with him and tiny and. Tony, the skinny guy. I already told you about Tiny, that he's the bad guy. Because it's funny. He that you have to have wacky henchmen on your side. Would just say... <laughs> they are... The colony will leave. Of it. In the story, because... You need, like... Their usual cliche of... Having two henchmen doing all silly stuff and all that. Um, it's meant to be funny if you find it interesting enough to see two guys start goofing around. I heard they're, they're kind of like related to Horace and Jasper, or Scratching Grounder from Song the Hedgehog. But that's just part of the story. You have to have Coney Will Leaf characters to do all that. It'd be very funny. 
And that's pretty much it. And I just described everything to you. Because that's all I can say about it. In the near future, I'll pay lots of money for people to do voice acting and animation to this story. We'll see you then, folks.